So, what are you most looking forward to about the uh, trip to Australia? Uh, playing with my teammates. I'm just getting an early feel. And going to Australia. I mean, how many people get to do yeah. that at the end of their summer? I mean, what can you say? What did you do for the summer? I went to Australia for you know two weeks. So, I mean, that's going to be great. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, what What has been the number one thing you've worked on over the course of the summer? From like, what's the biggest thing you've, you've tried to improve on over the course of the summer as you head into next season? I'm um, just not dipping the ball in my shot and one, two dribble pull-ups both ways. So when guys pull out on me hard, I now have a weapon I can get in, pull up, make a play for someone else. I just don't want to be a guy stand in the corner and you know they take away the shot and that's game over. It's over. So just working on pretty much all aspects of my game, but um, pulling up off the dribble has been the main thing. Yeah. And how do you feel going into your junior season? Now that you're one of the upper class and you're one of the more experienced guys in the team, how do you feel that you? How do you feel about adjusting to that role of being a guy to mentor the younger guys now? I mean, is that something you feel prepared to do, and is it something you're looking forward to doing? Um, I feel prepared to do it. I mean, I feel like um, I had good mentors before, guys like Ricky Kreklo, um, Tyrone has paved the way for us, Justin Cobb, guys like that have showed us um, before, you know, and it's, it's not a matter, you're learning every day too. So it's, it's not like, you know, we have all the answers now because we're juniors, we're learning every day. And, we have, a great leader in our, we have great leaders in our coaches, Coach Martin, to do that for us. So, I mean, being able to mentor the younger guys is a day-by-day -day process, and I'm ready for it. Nice. And how big of a, how, how huge is it for you guys to have Tyrone Wallace back, just in terms of his leadership and everything? How much, how much, how big of an asset is he for you guys in terms of just having that leader to look to for you and Sam and you guys that are juniors? How much of an, of an asset is he for you guys right now? I mean, Ty having Tyrone back has been huge. I mean, we got the addition of a couple new guys, um, three, new, three new young guys, but with Tyrone, we're just that much better. I mean, you saw last year how much he helped us and yeah. led us at times. And, you know, I think I think having Tyrone back as a senior leader really helps because without Tyrone, you know, who we look for, who we look, who we look to as the senior, the guy who's been through it all four years. So having him back is not only good on the court, but off the court also. Nice. And are you familiar with Australian basketball at all? Do you know the team? Have you heard of the teams you're facing? I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean I've, I've, all, I mean? I've heard of a couple teams, like, because um, one of the coaches played at Tennessee, Jordan McCray plays down there. Okay. For, I think it's like the Perth Wildcats, but uh, they got some good players down there, and I'm just excited to go down there. I'm really excited, actually. Excellent. And do you have any idea in terms of the competition level of those guys, how it compares to Pac-12 basketball? Or? I have no, I have no idea. To be honest, I've not, I've, I just got the itinerary yesterday. I'm just looking forward to getting so on that plane and going out. Find out then. Yeah, I'll find right. out. Well, thank you. No problem. Good job. Yep. So having had the chance to uh, to practice with Cam getting back on the court. Um, with the new freshmen coming in and they're going to be in the mix with playing time. How do you see the team changing this year? I think we're going to be deeper, obviously, because we have more guys. Um, I think we'll be really explosive if you had to get in transition. Um, you know, only time will tell, though. I mean, I, I can say all this now, but at the end of the day, it is August. And, uh, you know, we're going to do whatever coach wants us to do. We're just going to do whatever he wants us to do. Um, guys are just going to blend, fill their roles, and everybody's going to do what they need to do for us to win. With more scorers on the court that have more creative ability to, to score, do you feel like it's going to open things up for you a little bit more on the perimeter this year? I mean, yeah. I mean, we got scores. We're also a bunch of unselfish guys, so it's not like anybody's going to try to go one on five consistently. So, I mean, having having more scores is going to help everybody um, because you know you can't really you know, help defense. You got to get off one guy. So we're all looking to help each other out in the end. On paper, it looks like you guys are poised to have a real special season. Do you, do you have a sense that that might happen? You know, I feel like if you work hard to come to work every day with your hard hat on, um, just listen to coach and stay, keep your head to the grind, everything will turn out the way it's supposed to. Can you talk a little bit about uh, Jalen and Ivan, what they bring to the mix to this team? Yeah, both big time players. I mean, they've already lived up to their billing. I mean, you know, they're both they're both big time. Um, Jalen can really attack the rim. Ivan, both hands, left, right, touch around the rim, mid range jumper. He has all of it. So I mean, I mean, they had different dimensions to our team that we didn't have last year, obviously. But you know, they've been very good for us, and uh, they really, they really come together uh, as part of the team really well. What does Cam's return do for the team? Adds a huge body, a quick score down low. Um, yeah, another defender. Uh, yeah, Cam's a big time scorer in the post. So. Yeah. And uh, Steven Domingo is a little bit of a mystery to Cal fans. They're not there at practice, so they don't really know what his game is like. Uh, what can you tell us about him? Steven can shoot it. He's an active guy, a pretty good, uh, pretty good defender on the perimeter. Long. Um, he's going to help us a lot this year. Great. Thanks. No problem.